Meg suddenly caught fire after South Park pointed a mirror at her. Narcissus fear ridicule and exposure more than anything else. Hello friends, welcome to the breaking royal news about the notorious hypocritical couple Harry and Meghan Markle on our Kate Middleton and the Queen News version 2 channel. Well, Meghan Markle and Prince Harry are showing the whole world that they have no sense of humor whatsoever, and they also cannot see what the rest of us see, that they are the most despicable people on this planet. They were so abusive towards the late Queen and Prince Philip too, and then they kept on abusing King Charles, Queen Camilla, as well as the Prince and Princess of Wales. See, Meghan Markle despises these specific members of the royal family because they've got everything that she has always been so desperate for. Fame, a lot of money, and Harry is just so jealous of the marriages of both his father and brother because they're actually in love. Prince William has got everything that Harry wants and can never have. Prince William has got the money. He has a lovely family, including a gorgeous wife who loves him for who he is and is just happy to allow him to shine in his position. One commenter said, I still think it is also partly sour grapes. I think he wants Catherine and can't have her. So again, William has something Harry wants and thinks he deserves. And Meghan wanted Prince William as has been documented. And she can't have him, so she had to settle for someone she was worried about him being nice, like she asked her friend who supposedly set them up. Those were Meghan's words from her own mouth. The Prince and Princess of Wales love one another and their children, and have maintained excellent relationships with the rest of the family. Markle was and remains angry because she knows now that she will never have the life she wanted, and she lost the perks and benefits of being a member of the royal family when they left the United Kingdom. Meghan can call herself anything she wants, but the world knows that in reality they are no longer connected to the royal family other than by accident of birth. Harry can call himself a prince and a duke, but even he knows now that the people of the United Kingdom will never accept him as their prince again. He has to wonder why he threw his life away for the life he has now. His marriage to Meghan caused him to lose everything he loved for a wife who would certainly trade him in seconds if she could find someone richer to marry. And one British expert weighed in, saying, I did not realize that I was not entitled to my views. At least I can follow the evidence and trail that Harry and Meghan created, and I don't believe the enormous number of lies they have told since they were married. I am very grateful that I can read and evaluate what I am being told and see what you have not seen, or worse, that you believe she could murder someone and it would be okay with you based only on her race. We have watched the worldwide abuse of her family and his family triggered by the fact that these middle-aged people must be responsible for their bills because they are no longer working royals. Harry's marriage cost him his family, friends, dignity and manners, and everything else that had any value in his life. Meghan and Harry are angry about what they lost when they chose to leave the royal family. It is not the fault of the royal family that neither Harry nor Meghan thought about how they would support themselves financially after they left the monarchy. Meghan commented that she was not getting paid per outing that they had to go on. The royal family paid over $1 million per year for her clothing. She had two grace and favor homes and access to a fleet of assorted cars anytime they wanted to go anywhere, so everything she needed was taken care of. I want to know why she did not research how the monarchy's finances worked while researching every movement Diana made, what she wore, said, and did. If Meghan had just done her homework, she would have figured out that the best roles and most of the resources, of course, go to the monarch and the next in line to the throne. See, Meghan was expecting that she could spend however much money she wanted to on herself, of course, and she thought she would just be able to waltz into the vault and pick whatever jewelry she wanted without anyone even overseeing the whole process. I mean, the monarchy has been around for more than a thousand years now. What on earth made Meghan believe that as a minor player, she was going to marry into the royal family and all of a sudden dictate how things were done? That is sheer egotistical arrogance. Meghan worked in the real world before she married Harry, so I don't really understand what her excuse is. And now there is no business, no corporation out there who's going to let the newcomer come in and make changes immediately just to suit their tastes. Ever since Meghan joined the family, Meghan and Harry have abused the royal family nonstop. And now Meghan's all angry that she didn't get everything she wanted. And when she attempted to change things to change how the monarchy itself was run, well, they told her no. 
I mean, why can people not see that her behavior is truly the root of all the problems they're experiencing right now? Really, Harry and Meghan should have met with a good financial advisor and also a pretty good head shrink before they walked away from the monarchy and went on to abuse the king and queen, as well as the prince and princess of Wales. I mean, abusing not only your in-laws, but also your immediate family, using your in-laws like they're an ATM, and then expecting them to want to give you a lot of money is so short-sighted, as well as being plain stupid. And Meghan and Harry didn't even put forth an effort to do the job of being working royals after they got married. No, they just wanted to go on vacations. They wanted to be able to drink and abuse drugs and wait for all the money to come rolling in. Why exactly would four people, two of these people, by the way, are small children, why would a family of four require a home with 16 bathrooms and 20 acres of land? I mean, droughts are so common in California, and you know they've got the greenest lawn the world has ever seen. Meghan and Harry keep telling us that they're really, really, really smart, but we've got no evidence of that. The royal family and the people of the UK do not trust them anymore, and they don't respect them either. And that's thanks to their awful behavior and the things they've said over the last couple of years. Now, I don't know if they ever had any intellect, but they sure have lost it. I don't know if they ever had any manners, but they've lost those. And they have completely lost all of their credibility as well as self-respect, obviously. Megan truly is an empty vessel, and Harry has lost the ability to think for himself. He doesn't understand how to do the right thing for his family and the country that he was born into any longer because he's been completely brainwashed by Megan. And more than that, it is particularly awful to expect your family to pay for your lifestyle when you are not fulfilling your obligations to your family and the people of the UK either. And then Megan had the audacity to claim that she was not getting paid when in fact they had two homes and the palace also spent over a million dollars on clothing in one year for her. I mean, what kind of job out there offers those benefits? Maybe I need to apply. Now, recently, South Park made people all around the world laugh out loud about Meghan and Harry. They portray Meghan and Harry as they really are instead of the images that Harry and Meghan are trying to thrust upon us. They are absurd. They are delusional. They're liars. They're idiots. And really, they were already a laughing stock way before South Park ever had their way with them. And really, it's only gotten worse. But that's all their own fault. And a source is saying that Megan was devastated after South Park because it was like looking in a mirror. Yeah, I'm sure she was. See, narcissists cannot stand ridicule. They fear ridicule and exposure more than anything else. That's because it takes away the idea that everyone is buying into their victim narrative. So basically, they have jumped the shark and the couch. What do you think about the evil duo Harry and Meghan Markle? Let us know your thoughts below in the comments section. We hope you have found this video helpful. And don't forget to leave us a like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy it. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll be back to see you in the next videos. Bye-bye now.